A blue chip recruit out of London Catholic Central, Randy McCauley's commitment to Western was sweet music to the Mustang football program. Their new freshman tailback was not only an explosive running back, but was an established musician on the Canadian music charts as a member of the McCauley Boys, an R&B vocal quartet that had garnered a 1997 Juno Award nomination for Best R&B Soul Recording. Randy and his brothers had performed the Canadian National Anthem at the 1997 Major League Baseball All-Star Game, and their video for the single My Heaven hit number five on the Much Music playlist of June of 2000. The goal now was to balance football, a second varsity sport, track and field, and his singing career with academic duties. It soon became apparent that Macaulay would be able to do it all as a Western Mustang. In his 2003 rookie season, he rushed for 694 yards, scored five touchdowns, broke the Mustang regular season single game rushing record when he ran for 285 yards against the York Yeoman and sang the national anthem with his brothers at the Western homecoming game and then went out and scored a touchdown. For the next four years, McCauley would establish himself as one of the greatest halfbacks to have ever done the Mustang colors. He was named a second team OUA All-Star three times starting in 2004. Head coach Greg Marshall said he was one of the smoothest running backs I have ever coached. He just glided when he ran and made it look effortless as he pulled away from the defenders. During the 2004 season, he rushed for 735 yards and a team leading 14 touchdowns. He followed that up in 2005 by gaining 725 yards in the regular season while also handling kickoff and punt return duties. It became commonplace for his Western Mustang commitments and Macaulay Boys commitments to intersect. In one game against the U of T in Toronto, after the game, he immediately jumped into his parents' van, drove the four hours from Toronto to Windsor, changed from his football gear into a tuxedo. He was handed a cordless microphone in the Zamboni entrance of the arena as he discreetly rejoined his brothers on stage three and a half minutes into the performance. He did it all without missing a beat. When traveling with the Mustangs, head coach Larry Haler said Randy could turn the longest road trip into an entirely enjoyable experience with his vocal rendition of any requested song. But he also found them a little intimidating, saying he's not the kind of guy you stand beside and vocalize with because he's professional. And we're all rank amateurs when it comes to singing. This professional singer was now drawing the attention of the professional football scouts. During the 2006 season, Mustang fans received a free limited edition Randy McCauley Jack in the Box at a Mustang home game to celebrate his successes. At the end of the school year, he was awarded the Dr. Claude Brown Trophy, given to a Western male student athlete who has made the greatest contribution to Western intercollegiate athletics. A two-sport athlete, he had to pass up an invite to attend the CFL evaluation camp for top prospects in order to compete at the CIS track championship. I told them I'm captain on the track team and my priorities will be here at the championships. He did play in the annual East-West All-Star game and was named MVP after rushing for 41 yards and returning a kickoff 104 yards for a touchdown. His track career at Western reached legendary status. All told, McCauley won 16 individual and team medals at the OUA and CIS championship levels. He was a seven-time All-Canadian on the track, the OUA 60-meter sprint champion, and was a member of a CIS record-setting four by 400-meter relay team. Honored as the 2007 track team MVP at the conclusion of a career, he was awarded the Don Wright Trophy, recognizing his career achievement in track and field at the school. After his senior year, McCauley signs as a free agent with the Toronto Argonauts. Returning to the Mustangs for his fifth and final season, Randy would rewrite the Mustang record books. That season, he would rush for 1,017 yards in the eight-game season. On two occasions, he would rush for over 200 yards a game, including 245 yards against Queens in the season opener. 
The first playoff game is what Coach Greg Marshall considers his best game in a Mustang uniform. We were playing Queens on a sloppy field in Kingston. Randy's ability to accelerate and change direction was hampered by the muddy field conditions. That day, he put the team on his shoulders, lowered his pads, and relentlessly pounded the line of scrimmage. He finished the game with 161 yards on an incredible 38 carries and cemented his legacy as one of the top running backs to ever play at Western. The Mustangs would go on to play in the 100th Yates Cup Championship, where the fifth and sixth place teams from the regular season would play in what was coined the Battle of the Basement. The Mustangs took control in the second half and were led by Randy McCauley's 26 carries for 162 yards and three touchdowns in a 30 hoard a 21 win over Guelph in the right to hoist the Yates Cup in victory. In 2007, McCauley became the all-time leading rusher in Mustang history with 3,628 yards, as well as the school's all-time kick return leader in yards. He would set the all-time Mustang touchdown record with 43 and become the second all-time Western scoring leader with 258. His rushing yards would leave him with the third highest career total in CIS history. At the conclusion of the season, he was named the George McCullough Trophy winner as the football team MVP and was presented with the G. Howard Ferguson Award given to the student athlete who's shown the highest achievement during his university career in athletics, scholarship, and university life. McCauley earned three degrees while at Western and is currently practicing corporate and securities law at Goodman's Law Firm on Bay Street in Toronto. Described by Larry Haler as a consummate team player, he said of McCauley, he was a very, very busy man around here. Elite football, elite track, elite musical involvement, and an exceptionally good student. He's truly a modern Renaissance man. Randy McCauley, a Mustang legend.